Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the luminetry effect within Adobe After Effects 2021. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Notice I have my clip here in the composition that I want to color grade or correct. So I go over here to the effects and presets and search LUM. Scroll down, you see it right here. So you could either drag and drop this onto the clip, see that plus sign, or you can just do, make sure the, the clip's selected and then double click. And now that adds the luminetry color effect to the clip. And these are little drop downs, these little pointing right arrows. Um, so you could just open those up if you want to. And I usually just start from the top and work my way down. So here's the exposure. And this is like a slide wheel type setup to where you could hold your mouse down and slide to the right to brighten, slide, slide to the left to darken. So I usually bump this up oh, just, a, just a hair there. And the contrast usually slide it to the right because I like my darks to look dark notice the blacks in here they sort of are popping a bit more now and really you could just open this effect up and just just play with it some um, spend a lot of time just messing around with the different settings you can get really creative with this um, usually with the shadows make it a little bit darker too and that's just my personal preference. So I, I like when the the darks are sort of a bit harsh, especially in morning shots like this one. Um, saturation, sort of mess with this a little bit. I if I'm doing like TV commercials, I'll make the saturation pop pretty heavy. Just to, that's just my personal preference, but this looks pretty good. And one cool thing as well is uh, this FX. This is for all effects within After Effects, but if you toggle it on and off, you can see this is our color correct version. That's the flat shot with no effects on it, no color grade, no color effect on there at all. So um, we'll turn that back on and then drop down to creative. I don't really mess with these too much, but what I've been starting to do is just bump the sh sharpness up just a, just a, maybe one or two um, in the past. Like la all last year, I didn't even touch this sharpen and uh, this sharpen, uh, what do you call it, adjustment right here. And then vibrance, I usually bump up a bit. And that's really it. I mean, you can do a S curve um, is what it's called to where you sort of just bump up this and make a little little S within this section here but I usually sometimes I don't even mess with that and you can scroll down yep I don't really mess with that much I'll go ahead and Collapse all of these to make it nice and clean. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with how this looks. Well, hey guys, I'd love to hear how you all color correct or color grade your footage within uh, After Effects. Make sure to leave that in the uh, the comments below. And I just started this new thing with the affiliate Amazon links within the description of all these videos. Um, feel free to peep those links and. Uh, purchase some items through there if you could that's what fuels this channel and um, yeah I'd be really stoked if you guys check that out um, and it just has all my equipment that I use um, some helpful uh, very pocket friendly items too I mean the stuff that I use to produce uh, I guess quality content is relatively inexpensive compared to a lot of people that are you know using like the Sony cameras and everything like that so make sure to check out the description below with those links and um, also add some comments below with what type of content you'd like to be covered in the next video 
anyways, guys, thanks for tuning in and uh, have a great day.